Amazon Pharmacy to expand in India along with Canada, UK, and Australia. To get latest updates in pharmacy, subscribe to PharmaTutor's YouTube channel. Click on bell icon and don't miss our videos. Amazon Pharmacy is expanding its working outside US and potentially in India, Canada, UK, and Australia. Recently, Amazon has filed trademark Amazon Pharmacy in Canada, the UK, and Australia, signaling a potential move into selling prescription drugs outside of the US reported by CNBC. It is noted that Amazon Technologies applied for trademark in Canada on January 9 and provided in pre-formalized status bullet in Canadian Intellectual Property Office. And similar trademark filings made for IP Australia and the U.K.S. Intellectual Property Office on same day. They proposed for selling for pharmaceuticals, medical and veterinary preparations, sanitary preparations for medical purposes, dietetic food and substances adapted for medical or veterinary use, dietary supplements for humans and animals, plasters, materials for dressings, material for stopping teeth, dental wax, disinfectants, ointments for pharmaceutical purposes, lotions for pharmaceutical purposes, bombs etc. Along with that, Amazon also included businesses of instruments like surgical, medical, dental, and veterinary apparatus. It is also noted that the company has also filed trademarks in Brazil, Canada, China, Egypt, the EU, India, Israel, Japan, Mexico, Singapore, Taiwan, Turkey, and the UAE. In India, Amazon Pharmacy trademark is applied on January 10, 2020. Amazon is known for online businesses and therefore it is well expected that they will start e-pharmacy in the country. In India, Amazon Pharmacy will involve in various services such as medical services, veterinary services, hygienic and beauty care for human beings or animals, pharmacy services, services relating to the dispensing of medications, information services relating to medications, information services relating to pharmaceuticals, providing information to patients in the field of administering medications, medical information, providing a website featuring medical information, providing information in the field of healthcare in connection with retail pharmacy transactions, healthcare services, preparation of prescriptions in pharmacies. Recently, Fitchy also supported e-pharmacy and reported that the industry to come up with a code of conduct for e-pharmacies in the country to ensure proper compliance and high standards of operation and ensure there is no compromise in patient safety. Amazon started to move into the medicinal market in 2017, when it started exploring whether to build out a team. In 2018, it acquired PillPack, a startup that specializes in delivering medications to the home. PillPack is a full-service pharmacy that delivers a better, simpler experience through convenient packaging, modern technology, and personalized service. Filling trademark does not mean that company will immediately start functioning as online pharmacy but it is a sure signal that it has started operations to work towards online pharmacy. The global e-pharmacy maket size was valued at 49 US dollars BN in 2018 and expected to reach 177 US dollars BN by 2026. Already, there are many hurdles noted so far for working of e-pharmacy or online pharmacy in India. IACT raised concerns on patient data security through e-pharmacy. Rules for licensing are not clear among big and small players. DCGI had issued a notification that online pharmacies cannot be functional and dispense without license. Retail chemists and pharmacists are also opposing e-pharmacy. Now, it will be interesting to see how Amazon Pharmacy will enter in Indian market.